Bonjour Jenny Engineers, welcome to my problem a day series. In this video, we're going to calculate the reaction forces of a given beam. These type of problems are important if you're taking AP Civil, Mechanical, other disciplines, or if you're just taking statics class. Now, if you're here for the first time and you just want to learn about engineering or just how to engineer a better life, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you hit the bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Now, let's get started. Oh yeah, everybody now. Okay guys, so we were given this system and we need to calculate the reaction forces. So let's first determine our reaction. So at A, we have a pin. So it has X and Y direction, right? So I'm going to have AY here and then AX this way. And then for B, we have roller. So it's just going to have the Y component, which is BY. So before we start setting up our equilibrium equation, let's break this force into x and y components so i have 12 going this way let's call it f and then here i have fx and then here i have fy right so we were giving theta here which is 60 degrees and so to write this in terms of f we're going to use trigonometry so as you guys know and as i mentioned in a lot of my previous videos is that when you have sine theta it's usually equal to the opposite over hypotenuse and then cosine theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. So here I'm going to have fx is equal to f because it's adjacent, we're going to use cosine 60. And then here we're going to use sine because it's opposite. Let me give you guys an example. I'm going to do the sine theta just so you guys can see how we got here. But, uh, and you do cosine theta as a practice. So sine theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Now opposite is my fy and my hypotenuse is f. So if I, and this is equal to sine theta. So if I rewrite fy, I will have fy is equal to f sine theta. And this is why, this is exactly what we did here. It's very simple guys. Okay, so let's go back to our diagram and now start solving. So the first thing we're going to do is, let's do the summation of the moment at a. Because if we do the summation of the forces on the y equals to zero, I'm going to have two unknowns, ay and by, and I can't really calculate from that equation. So let's do the summation of the moment at A equals to zero. From there, we can determine the reaction force BY. Now, once I determine BY, then I can do the summation of the forces on the Y and determine AY. And lastly, we're going to do the summation of the forces on the X, which is the easiest one. So note, guys, that at pin or roller moment, we have no moment is equal to zero. So I'm going to choose counterclockwise to be my positive sign. So we start here, right? So six is going to the pin A. So that one, it doesn't really count because if we count it, I have no moment R. Now, if I take four, I'm going to have minus four times six. And let me show you guys a little bit why. So minus first, because my moment is going this way and I have a force going the opposite direction of my moment. That's one. And this is my moment arm. So the moment arm is where I'm taking the moment to where my force is applying. And that's the horizontal distance. And this is why here we didn't count six skips because I have, I have no moment arm. Moment arm is zero. The force is going through my, uh, where I'm taking the moment, which is the pin A. Okay. Now the next one is minus four, another four, but this time, my moment arm is 12 because I have 6 plus 6, which is 12. Then I have minus 6 kips. It's still negative, guys, because my moment is still going this way. And all these forces are going the opposite, going down. So I have minus 6. And this time I have um, 6 plus 6 plus 6, which is 18 feet. And this is kips. And then I have plus by also times 18 because it's the same moment arm it's acting the same as six we said that by is going to be going up and so it's going the same direction as where i took my moment and that's why it's going to be positive by now if by comes out negative then all we have to do is switch the sign and have it going down but i selected it going up and if it's comes out to be positive, then my by is correct. It has the correct sign. So the next component is I have fy. So for the 12, so I'm going to have minus because it's going 
down this way it's actually acting at this point which means this is my moment arm it's from here to where I'm taking the moment which is a and that's going to be 22 so I have minus 12 times sine 60 times 22 feet and this is equal to 0 so now we're going to solve for by 22.7 kips and this is positive which means it's going up so the direction that we picked is correct so this is my by so let me write it in red so I have 22.7 kips so that's by now we can do the summation of the forces on the y and calculate for a y so let's do that so we're going to pick this to be our positive sign and also I picked a y going positive so that's just an assumption we made a y now if the answer comes out to be negative then I have to switch my sign but if it comes out positive like b y that means we assumed it correct I hope that makes sense guys okay so I have a y plus b y because they're both going up so they're both going to be positive then I have minus 6 everything else is going to be negative because they're all going the opposite direction of what we selected here so I have minus 6 minus 4 minus 4 minus another 6 and I have minus 12 don't forget the 12 uh, components fy so I have minus 12 times sine 60 this is equals to 0 and then you substitute by over uh, with 22.7 and note guys here I mentioned this earlier this is why I don't like to start with the summation of the forces on the y because then I have two unknowns and I can't really solve I can't do anything with this equation so the next step you will do the summation of the moment at a you figure out by and then you have to come back to this equation to calculate for a y I just like to start with the moment and that way I can directly just calculate a y from this equation so a y is equal to 7.69 kips and this is positive which means it's going to go up just like how we first assumed it so this is equals to 7.69 kips now the last thing we need to calculate is the summation of the forces on the x equals to zero so let's pick this to be our positive sign so what do I have I have ax and I have minus this component right here the fx so I have minus 12 cosine 60 equals to 0 so ax is equal to 6 kips and this is also positive so which means it's going to be going this direction now also I would like to point out that Note guys here that fx, we didn't use it when we took the moment at a because again, it's going through the reaction. So there's no really moment arm. Moment arm is zero. Okay guys, so let me know if you want to see more of these type of problems in the comments below. Now don't forget to like, subscribe and make sure you share with your friends who might find it helpful. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you soon. A la prochaine. Oh yeah, everybody now.